Hey guys, this is Scott Schluter with uh, Penny Now uh, Productions. I just wanted to talk uh, a little after coming up at the end of our hurricane season here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, actually, I'm uh, living in the uh, Kenner, Louisiana. Uh, the storm, uh, Hurricane Francine, that entered Morgan City. Uh, came in as a hurricane uh, category two and it came in at about five o'clock p.m. and then uh, pretty much lasted until maybe about 11 o'clock at night so you have a good what six hours of constant rain a um, lot of wind and um, I just want to kind of discuss this uh, with y'all we get to the point where in this room in the kitchen uh, was a lot of water. Uh, a lot of water came actually from the outside under the stove. It was really, really wet in here. We had about two inches of water around the whole, the whole house. Pretty much a good 95%. And when I say 95%, it, it's just kind of weird on how it happened, but there's one room that they get no water, but all the rooms got water except for one room, and I'm going to be showing y'all that. So when you come in here, <clears throat> the water was actually coming not just from below, but it was actually coming from under this, this crack right here. And as you can see, it did a lot of damage uh, to the bottom parts, kind of rotting them out, rotting out the chairs. You know, things like that. And if I could walk right by, I actually did some damage here. And everything buckled around here. And if you can even see, that wasn't even split, the little corner right there. So, if you come over here, the water came here. And it came through. We had lots of towels. So when the energy came back on, actually the energy came back on uh, that Friday. So when it hit, I believe, what was it? Wednesday, Thursday that it hit? It was Thursday? Wednesday? Yeah, it was on Wednesday. So by Friday we had energy back. So we did a lot of wash. We did about five or six loads of wash because we had towels and old shirts around here. This is one spot over here. Um, we had to move things around. I got the camera equipment here. That never got wet, <laughs> which was lucky. Uh, this area right here never got any kind of water. So I'm coming over here. This is where it gets a little weird. Uh, no water came from any of the cracks, but the water started coming up out the ground. So it, now you may have not have noticed it before, but all this kind of buckled up and you could see more of the indention in here, if you can look. Yep, so if you follow me. So this is an area uh, where the carpet, it got wet and everything. Here's another area is in the washer and dryer. I'm not gonna turn the lights on, but no water came in from there. <clears throat> No water entered here, it just came up right here, and that was it. It did get the door a little wet, so it has a hard time shutting. <clears throat> this is where the water came in the worst with the carpet, and then the water didn't come in through anything, but it came in through the closet and also the bathroom from the other side of this wall, which was in the living room. Crazy, huh? <clears throat> so if you come in here, there was no water that happened at all. We just cut up the carpet because when they replace everything, uh, no carpet will be in the, uh, in the house for the future. So I uh, just wanted to kind of give you all a little input. You know, anybody that doesn't live in uh, the coast, uh, Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, this is what we go through every year. So when you go further north, you may deal with other kind of uh, weather conditions, uh, but this is what we pretty much go through every year. So, 
All right, guys. My name is Scott Schluter, Pay Me Now Productions. Take a look, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us. I appreciate it.